What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, and we're going to look at the OneNote for Business connector, and we're going to look at the action, which is when a page is created inside a section. So if you don't use Microsoft OneNote, it's a fantastic tool by Microsoft that allows you to create a notebook, but in the cloud. So I'm not very good at writing notes to myself, I'm not really good with my handwriting, but OneNote allows me to get all my notes, allows me to organize them, allows me to search through them. Uh, I can link it to various other things like uh, Dynamics 365, it can be saved in OneDrive and SharePoint, it can be used and linked to Microsoft To Do for instance. So there are loads of really cool features and functions of OneNote and it really is a lifesaver when you are in a business environment. So I highly recommend you check out OneNote if you haven't already and we're going to look at some of the actions and some of the triggers in the OneNote uh, connector for Power Automate in these next few videos. So let's just jump in. We'll look at the first uh, connector and trigger today. So if I'm in Power Automate, I can search OneNote and I can find the trigger at uh, the actions here and the trigger. Uh, and the first trigger I'll look at is when a new page is created in a section. So we click on this, and then the first thing it's trying to do, I'm trying to delete that. Uh, actually, no, I'll do that. I'll keep that. Um, I was doing some testing before this. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, be asked for the notebook key and the notebook section. So the notebook key is just the notebook that we're going to be updating or, or looking at for this trigger. So I'm going to choose this one, the MCJ notebook. That's my notebook. And then what it's instantly going to do is it's going to go off and it's going to find a list of sections inside of that notebook. So I currently have two sections. I have section one and section two. Uh, they are very uh, uniquely named in, in that respect. So we're going to choose section two. Now the next thing we're going to be asked for is, um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, get some of the outputs from it. So if I look at the dynamic content, I get a list of things, things like page title, uh, I get the OneNote client URL. So this is the URL if you are wanting to open it in the desktop client, uh, the OneNote web URL. So if you open it in the web client, because there is a, a web app and, a, and a, uh, a, a, a desktop app as well. Uh, we also have things like last modifier, created on, ID, etc. So we, get, we do get a lot of details from this. So what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose the OneNote web URL. Um, and then I'm also going to take maybe the create on date. Take those two. And that's all we need. So when we trigger this, when a new uh, page is created inside a section, we can get a couple of pieces of details out about that. So we only need two pieces of information for the trigger, and then we can use the outputs of those to do something. So let's test this out. So click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. And that is now running. And if I switch over to my note, my uh, notebook, so I have a uh, a OneDrive. Um, I have my OneNote here that's stored in my SharePoint, and I can add a new page into this and just go. This is page one, um, and then I can write some details in there. Hello, for instance. Uh, and this will trigger that flow, which is being triggered from this section two that we're looking in here. So we go back to my flow. Uh, it may just take a minute to sync that it's uh, been triggered. Uh, and then it will trigger and we will see. So the other thing to know about this trigger uh, and about these actions in, in particular is that the trigger needs to be inside of the personal productivity or the default environment. It will not work if you have it set up in another environment. It actually has to be in the default environment for this to work. Uh, I'm wondering whether did I choose the right section here. Let's create one in this section. Can't remember if I can create in section one, section two, page five, for instance. Go back. Trying to go back and see if it did trigger. No, it hasn't triggered. It did choose section two. We'll just test that out. I'll test. Run to section two. Hello. Create new page. Test one. And we'll go back to Power Automate. I 
think power ultimate was just taking its sweet time there. It did actually trigger in the end and it did run uh, and we can see the outputs here. We do have uh, the, the link to it here and then the um, the time it was created on here as well. So this is this is time in UTC, so I'm currently in British summer time, so it's a little bit out by an hour, uh, but at least we get this information out. So this should be used uh, every time you're creating a new page in a section. So one of the things I do, I use this for, is I use it for projects. So if I start a project uh, and I uh, use the name of the customer, and then I'll use a section, uh, I'll use a, a page for, um, different meetings I maybe have with the customer. So different requirements gathering sessions, different phone calls, different like workshops and things like that, training sessions. If I don't ask questions, I can make notes of them and come back to them later. And I could potentially use something like this to basically take all my notes and then put them somewhere else. So I could take them, put them in SharePoint, put them in um, you know, Dynamics. I could take certain pieces of this and do stuff with. So there's loads of great options for this trigger. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you guys use? Do you use OneNote? Do you not use OneNote? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please click subscribe and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.